let's see how much ChatGPT version 3.5 knows about silicon dominant anodes for lithium ion batteries. My prompt for ChatGPT was when silicon is lithiated, what's the structural change that happens and what are the redox as reactions associated with this reaction? When silicon is lithiated in a lithium ion battery, it undergoes significant structural changes due to the insertion of lithium ions into its lattice structure. The key structural changes that silicon experiences during lithiation are the following. We got volume expansion, formation of lithium silicon alloys, and amorphization. Pretty good so far. Under the volume expansion, it says that during lithiation, the silicon structure expands as high as 300% of the original volume, which is much larger than observed in graphite anodes, which is true, but I think this is really misleading because in actual silicon anode technology, that 300% expansion only really happens during its first lithiation cycle. And oftentimes the silicon is only partially lithiated depending on those different specifications of the battery itself and how it's built and how it's planned to be cycled. And so you, the bottom line is you don't get a 300% uh, expansion every single cycle that you put the battery through. So it doesn't expand by 300% every time it's lithiated. And that's a huge misconception. It actually expands much less than that. So a little bit, you gotta take this with a grain of salt, right? Okay, the second part, formation of sil lithium silicon alloys. So silicon anodes typically form lithium silicon alloys during lithiation, correct. So graphite is like a two-dimensional layered structure. I've compared this to like a parking structure with cars, which are the lithium ions fitting between the layers of the parking structure. And uh, silicon is different than this because it's a different lattice structure than graphite. It's not an intercalation material. It's an alloying material with lithium. So it actually goes from a crystal structure into a very amorphous, which is the second part, amorphization. So silicon can undergo, it It does undergo an amorphous to crystalline, what? No, 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 no. It goes through a crystalline to amorphous phase transition during lithiation. And this is only the first time it's lithiated. For all subsequent times, it's amorphous. It never goes back to a crystalline structure. And this says that the exact composition of the lithium silicon alloy can vary depending on the degree of lithiation. This is somewhat true, at least the latest that I've read in the literature on how silicon actually lithiates. There's like one wave of lithiation through the particle, and then there's a second wave behind that through the particle. So you have like a couple of phase transitions that happen simultaneously. So there are a very degreeing, varying degree of lithiation throughout the material. And I think this is an odd thing chat GPT put in. So this amorphization can have both positive and negative effects on the anode's performance, affecting its capacity and cycling stability. So yes, but the amorphization is just like, it happens, right? So it has positive and negative effects. It's just a very ambiguous statement. I know it's kind of a weird thing to say. Follow for part two where I'll describe the rest of this.